This first video is going to be about five things that you could do when you're having a bad day, so stay tuned. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Temi and you're watching Temi the Sage. This is my first video and thank you for clicking. This channel is going to be all about self-development, self-actualization. We're going to be going on a long, long, long journey to becoming our best selves in all aspects, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, relationship-wise, career-wise, all aspects, okay? So if you're interested in furthering yourself, especially your mindset, um, this channel is for you, so make sure you subscribe. I have a lot of cool videos coming up for you guys and I'm so excited to take you guys along this journey. Stay tuned for this first video, which will be about five things that you could do when you're having a bad day the first thing that you want to do when having a bad day is you want to remove yourself from the situation or you want to separate yourself from whatever emotions that you're feeling so for example let's say that you're angry you want to look at the situation objectively so you don't want to be you know popping off like a cannon you want to just you know take a few deep breaths you know breathe in through your nose out through your mouth and you want to look at the situation from the outside so you want to take the situation and be like what exactly in this is ticking me off and you want to remove yourself if you could go somewhere and cool off excuse yourself from that person you know remove yourself mentally from the situation you don't want to let your emotions get the best of you if you're sad you don't want to um make the situation about your character for example let's say you were working on a project and the project failed don't be like i'm a failure you know i'm a failure i can't do nothing right you want to be like i failed at this situation however i've won at different things the situation i failed at that's okay you know i win in other things i lose in some it's a learning experience i'll get it on the next try so you want to remove your character from whatever situation is going on it's not about you know you being a bad person or you let's say it's just a bad situation that happened bad people do good things and good people do bad things you know so you want to remove your character from the situation the second thing you want to do when you're having a bad day or you're feeling angry sad or whatever emotion it may be is you want to surround yourself with positivity you want to surround yourself with good food good music you know put on your favorite music some oldies and jam dance to it you know pick up your favorite meal don't care about you know working out or feeling fire all of that is. you know so once in a while thing get your food eat it savor every bite of it mm, delicious you know eat and enjoy yourself you want to exercise exercise especially is potent in increasing our serotonin levels which is a mood hormone and other um hormones in our body and endorphins and it just really pumps up your spirit and brings you into a good mood so get up and get moving you don't have to go to a gym you can work at home you can go for a walk go for a jog um what's been found to also help as well is like going out in the grass taking your shoes off feeling the grass with your legs and practicing mindfulness and being in the present moment so you're gonna definitely get up and move in don't sit in bed all day and be sad okay get up get up get out there and you know just go on a walk and you know feel through whatever you're feeling but make sure you're moving your body the third thing that you want to do when you're having a bad day is you want to talk about it with someone that you trust and by someone that you trust i mean someone that's going to put your business out there okay someone that's going to listen attentively listen um, to what you're saying or just listen to you know, respond or listen to put their two cents in if it's a parent a friend you know you definitely want to have someone in your corner that you could always go to and confine it um, I'm gonna have another video on cultivating good friendships and taking your acquaintances you know from acquaintances to friends um, but that'll be another video so stay tuned for that however you know you should always have one person that you could at least go to and talk to and if you don't there are many hotlines out there chat groups out there that you could reach out to someone and talk to which is even good you know someone that you don't know that can never judge you so you could tell them everything so you know you definitely want to talk to somebody however if you are talking to a friend you want to make sure that you ask them first if they are willing to listen or if they're in a mood to listen to a place right now where you could unload on them what you don't want to do is just go to your friends and start you know unloading all your negative you know baggage and negative things going on with you on them 
you don't want to be that friend that's always complaining or that friend that always just comes when there's something going wrong so you want to ask your friends first if you know are you able to talk you know i'm having a really bad day and i just want to talk are you able to talk and they say yes go ahead if they say no you know give them that space not everyone is you know in a place to receive or you know take on somebody else's baggage so you definitely want to ask first the fourth thing that you want to do when you're having a bad day is you want to attack whatever is happening attack the situation collect everything everything that's going on all your emotions get a notebook write everything down all the to-dos let's say you have so much to do your car broke down this happened you need food you need money blah 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 so i'm not acting right take all of that collect it in a ball you know write it all down from most important to least important from worst situation to you know the least minimal situation and you want to attack each thing so let's say your car broke down okay do i have money to fix it no okay who can i help who can i call upon to help me with this situation use your resources the people around you your network your friends your family those are your resources never be afraid to ask for help asking for help is actually a, a tool and it's a skill to have you know we have these two hands our two feet one brain we can't do everything by ourselves so you definitely want to pull upon people around you to help you let's say you have a friend that you know could drive you to work that lives close by ask them hey you know my car broke down are you able to drive me and you'd be surprised with who's you know able to help you when you ask you know you just need to ask sometimes and that's okay um, let's say you're feeling sad you know what about the situation is making you sad you want to write that down attack it if it's something that's not going to be important in 10 years let it go just drop it let it go don't even spend 10 minutes on it if it's not going to make a difference in your life 10 years from now don't spend 10 minutes on it okay because you know we waste so much time worrying about the little things that don't matter and it just takes away from our we only get this one life this one life you don't want to reduce your time by wallowing on things that are not important just drop it and let it go okay and lastly the fifth thing that you want to do when you're having a bad day is you want to check yourself okay check yourself check your expectations leave them at the door never go into situations having expectations we always go into things like you know oh i hope this person don't come and do this you go to work like oh I hope today's you know just be like you know go to work and be like hmm i wonder what's gonna happen today i wonder what i'm gonna have today i wonder you know what i'm gonna learn today and just you know go in you know say to yourself i am willing and capable to take on any challenge that comes my way all challenges opportunities for me to grow and become a better person that's all you know in relationships don't think people are going to reach your mind don't be walking around front and front and front and you think someone's gonna come up like hey what's wrong you know people aren't mind readers if you don't tell someone what's wrong most likely they're not gonna know what's happening and you're gonna walk away feeling neglected however you didn't communicate what was going on with you so you definitely want to communicate with people and don't just assume and expect them to come through for you when you haven't let them know that there's even anything going on so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and the top five things to do when you're having a bad day if you have any more things that you want to add make sure you leave that down in the comments you never know who's reading and who you could help okay make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and i have many things coming for you guys i'm so excited to share with you um make sure you follow me on instagram um at nurse temi i believe uh, i'll leave it in the description box because i'm probably going to change my instagram Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.